Hi, welcome back to another video. Just a quick one today, and that's calculating static compression ratio. This is something that seems to baffle the hell out of a lot of people, so I'm going to make it really easy. But I'm going to make one assumption, and that is that you know the capacity of your engine, so 998, 1275, 1310, 1380, etc. If you don't know that, you can calculate it, but you need to know the bore diameter and the stroke, and it gets a bit more complicated, so I'll cover that in another video. But like I said today, I'm going to keep it really simple, so if you know your engine uh, capacity, then it's really easy to work it out, and I'll show you how now. Right, the calculation goes as follows. So it's V plus C divided by C. Right, V is the swept volume of one cylinder. So like I said, we'll assume you know your engine capacity. So we'll say, for this example, it's a 1275. So to work out V, which is the swept volume of one cylinder, so that's 1275, and you divide that by the number of cylinders, that's 4. So we do 1275 divided by 4. Get our calculator out. And that's 318.75. Right, so that's the swept volume of one cylinder. And that's V. So, like I say, super simple. You can work that out as long as you know your engine capacity. Divide it by 4. That gives you the swept volume of one cylinder. That's V. So, couldn't be any easier, really. Right, to work out C, we need to know the uh, volume contained within the chamber in the cylinder head. So uh, if you saw my other video of how to measure that, that's pretty easy. Uh, otherwise, if we just assume it's a standard chamber for this purposes of this video, so we'll say 21.4 cc, that's the volume in the head. We then need to know the piston dish volume. So we'll assume uh, we're going to do standard metro turbo, so we'll say 12 cc for that. Again, you can measure that uh, the same way as you actually measure the cylinder head with a bit of perspex cross over the dish of the piston and fill that. But we'll uh, go with the Metro Turbo on here, so that's 12cc. We'll then go with a BK450 head gasket, so that's 3.8cc. Uh, and then the final thing is the Ringland volume, which again, you can calculate that but it is a bit more complex uh, and to be honest they don't vary that much unless you're wanting to get the calculation super super accurate you're talking from about 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0.5 of a cc to about 0 0.7 of a cc variation generally so it's next to nothing so I'm going to put 0.5 of a cc uh, if you want to get fussy then you can measure it and again I'll, I'll cover that in a different video where I go through the bore and the stroke and it gets a bit more complex but for, if you put 5 of a cc it's going to be as near as damn it and especially on a turbo engine it's going to have absolutely no impact on it on it all it's a minimal minimal volume so we'll put 5 of a cc for that the last thing that you really do need to measure as it can make quite a difference is how far down the bar the piston sits when it's at top dead centre so you need to set the engine to top dead centre and then using your uh, trusty depth mic or you could use a, a vernier but you'll see me using this in most of the videos because it's more accurate uh, you need to bring the piston to top dead centre and you need to measure from the block face down to the top of the piston how far down the piston sits if at all if the engine's modified you'll, you might find the block's been skimmed to bring the piston flush or close to flush or even above the deck uh, which would make a negative volume but generally on like factory engines you'll find that it sits about 10 hour or so uh, down the bar so on the standard 1275 bar with the piston sitting uh, 10 thou down the bar you'll find there's about uh, 0.99 so almost 1 cc uh, so that's piston to block clearance and that's 1 cc but again you'd need to you need to measure that because if it's 15th out it's going to be almost one and a half cc if it's 20th out it's going to be almost two cc so it does make quite a difference it's not something you can just look at by eye you need to measure that properly uh, and once you've got all them figures there you can top them up uh, and that gives you c once you know f how far down uh, the bore at top dead center the piston sitting you're going to want to know how much uh, volume that equates to so 
if you have a look in David Vizard's book, which is tuning the A-series engine, there's a handy little table here. So if we look at this table, you can see you just look up the uh, capacity of your engine and then how far down the bore it sits and then it tells you exactly how much volume there is there so you don't even need to to measure that you can just consult that table and it's uh, pretty much covered for pretty much all over bars and uh, capacities there so yep useful right so if we add all those up we get 38.69 so that's 38.69 cc contained with all them in all those areas there. So if we add uh, V to C and then divide by C we'll find that it will give us a compression ratio of 9.23 to 1. So with a, with a 1275 obviously a swept volume of, of that in one cylinder that's V uh, and then total those up that's C do the calculation there that gives you 9.23 to 1 so that would be your static compression ratio of that particular engine with those uh, figures right so let's say this is for a turbo build and you want to lower the compression so we're going to take 4cc out the head so that will give us uh, if we add 4cc to that that will give us uh, 42.69 right so how much difference does that 4cc make to that original compression ratio so we've added 4cc into the mix there so if we do that, so we've got V, which is 318.75, 318.75, plus C, which is now 42.69, 42.69, and then divide by 42.69 equals, right, so we've now just chucked another 4cc into the mix there, and the compression ratio is now 8.46 to 1 so that's our new C and that's our new compression ratio so pr dead easy to work out you can obviously put different volumes in so if you wanted to take the head out to 28cc obviously that's going to make a huge difference again so dead easy so I hope you found that useful as you can see once you've got the figures it's dead easy to work it out uh, if you're not sure on any of the head gasket volumes, they're easy to find online for the common head gaskets. The figures are easily available. Same goes for common pistons. The piston dish volumes are easy to find out, so you don't need to worry about measuring that. But if you've got an obscure piston, uh, it's easy to measure. If you watch my measuring cylinder head chamber volume video that I did a while back, it's exactly the same as uh, to do a piston, so you can measure the piston dead simple. You'll obviously also need to make sure that you have to do a dry build and measure the like I say the top dead from top dead centre to the block face uh, volume you can't that's you can't just guess that that that's pretty critical because 10 thou can make about a cc of difference so it's quite critical that one uh, but other than that it's, it's dead easy so hopefully you found that useful and as always grab a brew and I'll see you soon